Hi everyone, welcome back to part six of the shelf layout build. Uh, I'm getting very close now to a thousand subscribers, so thank you to those of you that are subscribing already. Uh, and uh, welcome aboard anybody new, always glad to welcome new subscribers. Um, I'm going to do a special post and video to mark that occasion when I finally get there, so keep your eyes open for that. Uh, so let's see what uh, what I've been up to then on the shelf layout. So as you can see here, the water cranes are now installed and painted. Thanks to James Demu, my uh, YouTube buddy, who pointed out that they should be in line and not staggered as I'd originally intended uh, because of the piping. Working for a plumber's merchant, I should really know that. Uh, as you can see, uh, the foreground was my next dilemma. And I've roughed out some cardboard prototypes which I thought we could do a uh, boiler house maybe, or a metal working workshop for the larger building. And I thought I'd mount that on foam board, which I've embossed some cobblestones in, uh, in the same way that I did in Lylecombe Key on that layout with a ballpoint pen. So pushed into the foam board. Here you can see what will be the sort of metal working workshop. Uh, once again, scratch built using embossed plastic card. And I've used uh, sort of corrugated embossed to create the roofs and here they are next to the original cardboard prototypes and painted in the same way as the coal stage with artists oil paints uh, once again it takes ages for them to dry hence the uh, delay in posting wanted the roofs to look like um, corrugated asbestos uh, so I hope I've achieved that I felt if, it, if I did them in tiles they would sort of look a bit like a church and I didn't really want that to, uh, to be the case. So here they are installed on the layout. Uh, I think it looks pretty balanced. I, I wanted to make sure that the buildings didn't look too big, but likewise wanted them to hide the locos disappearing behind them in a sort of scenic break. Uh, here we can see the cobblestones, which uh, are now painted uh, with a weathering wash to bring out the, the cobbles. So that's just a standard panel wash of uh, um, white spirit and oil paints. And those that are regular viewers would like uh, would know that I like my little concealed switches. So the chimney operates the light outside and also inside I've got a flickering flame effect for the sort of furnace for the uh, metal working shop in there. So as you can see that's flickering away nicely. I picked that up at a show somewhere and needed a good excuse to use it and switching off there on the chimney. So an idea of uh, what this looks like on the layout, um, I didn't want the buildings to look too narrow or out of scale, but I think I've got away with it. So there's a, a general overview. Uh, very happy how this is coming on. So I think the next stage probably to add a bit of greenery. So thanks for joining me. Um, keep your eye out for part seven. See you soon. Cheers. Bye.